So this is my first update uh, for the DIY pedal and yoke uh, that I've built. And the first update that I'm doing are on the pedals because I ran into a critical design flaw. And that's that, that my pedals are only in a single uh, plane, a single shear plane. And well, these folded completely over as I was using it. So uh, the first update that I'm going to do is to put some uh, bracing inside here, get some uh, cross bracing, some lateral support. Um, I am really unhappy with these drawer glides. The bearings are not riding in their races correctly. Um, I'm also not really happy with uh, this setup with the um, wheel. As you can see, it's very easy for this to get off center. So here are my revisions for the rudder pedals. So first of all, I boxed in uh, the supports here for the pedal because this one folded over on me. So I had to repair it and, and box those in. The other thing that I did was change the drawer slides out for the same type of methodology that I have on the yoke, uh, which are these 3 8 inch rods and uh, the brass inserts. On the pedals, though, I did have some scrap um, red oak left over from my last project. And that worked out really well because um, if this was MDF, I would have had to build that up a lot more uh, in order to keep the hole from tearing out the MDF for the, for the insert. Um, I also changed the pulley system with the springs to a rack and pinion. Um, which uh, works a whole lot better because that, uh, you know, is, is pretty much set and is not going to slip. Um, I kept the same center equalizer bar. I just had to raise it up a little bit. And uh, the last upgrade that I did was add in toe brakes. Um, so the toe brakes work off of a spring-loaded hinge that I got from the hardware store. Uh, I've got a little control horn and a servo arm uh, from some RC airplanes I was working on. Um, and then I laser cut out a little piece of acrylic that's mounted to the potentiometer. And I've got the same thing over here on this toe brake. So I have independent toe brakes uh, to be able to do some steering. So all that's wired Okay, up. so I've got the pedals installed. I went ahead and did a separate uh, Adreno Micro just for the uh, rudder pedals. Um, so I've got three channels coming in there. Um, I've got the original one over here, which is just controlling the yoke. Uh, got the code set up in this guy, so it's coming up as a second uh, controller. Um, got it all programmed in Microsoft Flight Sim, and it's working out really, really well. Uh, went ahead and, and because I had an open channel, I made a little trim tab. I mean, you know, it's janky. But uh, my next uh, update on this is going to be trim tab, throttle quadrant with mix, um, you know, pitch adjustment, uh, flap adjustment, maybe even a servo that reads out uh, flat position. I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, thank you for all the comments. It's been awesome. I'm glad this is, you know, providing some inspiration, providing some help for uh, other folks out there. Um, and uh, thanks for the subscriptions. Thanks for the likes. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next update.